Okay. So while I'm just talking about this first one, you get to answer the question of the day. The question of the day is why did the new student try to put a chair in his backpack? Okay. So um, we talked last week a little bit about um, coming in with a good attitude, sitting in your seat, showing everybody respect, keeping your hands to yourself, all that stuff. Bathroom breaks during work time, remember that's one at a time. And now we got these fancy new hall passes to go along with it too. So we've got hall passes and all that fun stuff. Make all look nice, be all legal and stuff like that. Um, no phones out during class. Remember, underneath your leg or in your pocket, that's still out because that 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 you know, I got that fear of missing out and all that fun stuff. Okay. Water and cap containers, especially today and tomorrow. Anybody come up with the answer? Why did the student try to put his chair in his backpack? Dad joke. Thanks, 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 Dad. Nobody? Because the teacher told him. Oh, that's great. The teacher told him to take a seat. Wah, wah. Remember your white note packet, extremely important because you get to use that. And looking ahead, I'm over here on the sideboard here now. Um, today we're subtracting. Tomorrow we're adding and subtracting. Thursday we're taking a formative. Formative. Friday we're multiplying. Then we come back next week. We got another formative. Formative. And then we're going to be testing down here on the 20th. On the from the two weeks from tomorrow to get to use your notes on that. So definitely a good idea to take take some notes and, and all that fun stuff on there. Okay. All right. Today I'm going to mix up just a little bit. I'm going to um, start, I'm going to skip the warm-up for right now. We will come back to those warm-up problems because I want to talk about that, but I want to refresh our memories as to what we talked about last week, kind of get us back into that mode. Okay? So the first thing is, it asks, what do we do if we're adding two digits with the same sign? Okay, well, not necessarily, because they're, they're both negative, right? So what happens? How do we add two digits that are the same, same positivity? What was that? You just add them, and then what about the sign then? Keep the same sign, right? Yep. Okay. So if they're if we have the same sign, we add the digits and keep that sign. So if it's seven plus five, we would add them, and it would be positive. If it's negative seven plus negative five, we still add those numbers together. But then it becomes negative because it's negative and negative. Okay. What if those signs, the positivities, what if the positivities are different? So one's positive and one's negative. Okay, so what do we do first, Will? Okay. Okay, but what do you do with the two digits, though? No, because now they're different. Move back in your notes. We, we all got notes. We did, we did this all last week, too. What do we do with those signs? Or what do we do with those numbers? But what do I do with the numbers? We're missing one key S word. We subtract the numbers. Okay? 
So we subtract the numbers, and then what? Well, and what we're saying here was then we keep the sign of the bigger number. Okay. So we subtract the digits. Happens. You're in his room by two and a half. Exactly. Yep. Nash, right? No? Mm -hmm. Oh, there you go. Yep. Yeah. Now, that's what we do. Okay? So now then, what I want you to do, thank you, down here, yep, down here. So now, so over in this like space right over here, right below where we just were, now we're going to talk about what we do when we are adding on a number line. So if I'm adding a positive, what I mean by that is after the addition symbol, here on, uh, so if I'm adding a positive, so like we'll go back to my 7 plus 5. Okay? So if I'm adding a positive, So this number right there is positive. Which direction do I go on a vertical number line or on a horizontal number line? We'll do the vertical one first. Which direction do we add positive on a vertical number line? Up. We're going to go up. On a horizontal number line, we're going to go to the right. Okay. So we're going to go... Up or right that many spots. Okay. In this case, we would go up five spots or we would go right five spots. Okay. What if we are adding a negative number? So now we would be like 7 plus negative 5. So that number after the addition sign is negative. Now what two directions do we go? Down and left, right? Got to go the other two directions, right? Because now we're adding a negative. With me on that. So today, what we're doing is, and we're going to come back to that here, but now I want to jump back to the warm up problem at the top of the page. Okay? So today, what we're doing is we are going to subtract. Now, subtraction is the opposite of addition. Okay? So when we see 8 minus 6, what our brain is actually telling us is that's 8 plus negative 6. Okay? So 
we can do a subtraction sign or a subtraction problem with our rules from addition. Now our signs are opposite, so we subtract them. 8 minus 6 is 2. 8's the bigger one, it's positive, so this would be 2. Okay. On a number line, down here, on a number line, Now, when you're add or when you're subtracting a positive number, you are actually going to do the opposite, because addition is opposite to subtraction. So adding a negative number is the same as subtracting a positive number. So we would go down or left on the number line. So 8 minus 6, we would start at 8. Because we're subtracting a positive number, I'm going to go down 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. And that puts me at 2. Four minus three is the same as four plus negative three. Start at four, down three, one, two, and three, ends at one. Five minus six, this morning the class told me that five minus six was positive one, and I said, wait, let's look at it like this, and then they changed their mind. No, it's negative because the bigger number has the negative sign on it. Or if I started over here at 5, went down 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, and at negative 1. So, one last thing to add on this one. If subtracting a positive number means we go down or left on a number line, subtracting a negative number would mean that we would go up or right. Because once again, Adding and subtracting are opposites. Those flip around when we go to subtraction. Okay? With that being said, what I'd like you to do now is I'd like you to do numbers 1 through 4 on the front side. See on the front side again. 1 through 4 on the front side. Okay? Try these four which should be one through four at the bottom of the page that we were just writing. Go for it. Eight minus 10. What did we get with eight minus 10? Negative two. Any other agreements on negative two? Yes, everybody got negative two. If we started at eight, we went down 10 on our number line, we could get that. Or if we wrote this as eight plus negative 10, we would subtract those, and then we keep the sign of a larger one, which would be negative 2. Agree with that. For number 2, I got 8. Everybody agree with me on 8? Some people picked up on it. Other people. Other people. Yep, I got 8 too. What did you get? Negative 8, what did you get? 
negative 8. Should it be negative 8? Yeah, because the signs are the same, right? And it's an addition problem, so that means that we keep that negative 8 sign. Negative 11 plus 12. One, 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 it is one. Seven plus five, twelve, everybody get twelve? Yeah, twelve. Question, front side. Flip it over, man, and just do, just, just, just do five and six, okay? Not move those ones at the bottom yet. We'll get there. We'll get there. We have plenty of time. 6 minus 10 could also be negative, excuse me, negative 6 minus 10. Could also be negative 6 plus negative 10, which means I add those two digits, which means that gets me to, and then keep the sign, which would be negative 16. Agree with me on that? Okay. No? All right. Next one. It's a two operation one. So first we're going to do 10 plus 4 would get me to 14. And then we're going to subtract off 8. So if I go all the way up to 14, and I go back down 8, okay, that would give me 6. Okay. Yes? Love. Good. Good. So now on these, we're using letters to represent numbers. So we're saying here that 4 is x, so then we could replace x right there with 4. The sign in the, or the operation, I would say, would be still subtraction. And then y, we're going to replace with 3. So this problem, yes, even though it's written as x minus y, is really 4 minus 3. 4 minus 3, if we started at 4, went down 3, we would end at 1. Z here is negative 6, so we're saying here negative 6, minus x is 4, so we could write it like that, or we could write it as negative 6 plus negative 4. Signs are the same, so we add the digits. 6 and 4 is 10. Both are negative, so this answer should be negative. You try numbers 9 and 10 down here, where we said that x plus 4, y plus 3, and z. We have 4 minus 15, that means we're going down 15 on our number line, so we're going to start at 4. Start at 4, 
down 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15. That puts me at negative 11. And then plus negative 6. Would mean I go down six more. One, two, three, four, five, and six, which ends me up at negative seventeen. Agree with negative seventeen? On this one, we're saying the opposite of x, so that's not 4, but then that would become negative 4. Minus y is 3, plus z is 6. Negative 4 minus 3. Four minus three, one, two, three, puts me to negative seven, plus negative six, down six more, one, two, three, four, five, and six, ends me right there at negative thirteen. Yeah. For the remaining time that we have, which is a little bit more than five minutes, after I get them passed up, we'll work on the A3 worksheet, and it will be due tomorrow. And remember, when you get it, put your first and last name.